Shebnam Kalemli Ushan's most cited research explores whether countries with well-developed financial markets benefit more from foreign direct investment. FDI is a capital flow from one country to another, and different from portfolio investment, it's a long-term investment. Foreign direct investment comes to a country to finance its uh, productive investment opportunities and helps that country to grow. These type of investors are committing themselves, right? You are going to another country, most of the time it's an emerging market, and you are taking a controlling stake in companies, so you really want to make sure that investment pays off and uh, you get a good return out of it. So there's no point of doing this for a year, obviously. Neither my research nor I know any research that shows FDI is not good for a country uh, for several reasons. The company that directly receives the investment, that immediate investment is obviously beneficial, right? But then there's the spillover effect. Domestic companies around that company who are not directly receiving the FDI, but somehow in the you know, same business line with that company, they also learn. FDI is something that is really beneficial for the aggregate growth of an economy, and policymakers realize that. We have been developing a lot of policies in the last 20 years to attract FDI, to uh, make sure countries receive FDI uh, more than other type of investment that is more fickle. Kalemli Oshun's work shed light on how local conditions can limit a country's capacity to take advantage of FDI spillovers, she found that the level of development of local financial markets is crucial for the positive effects to be realized. Countries who want to attract FDI should really think about strengthening their institutional environments, their infrastructure, you know, structural reforms. Turkey is a good example. Turkey received record level of FDI when they become a, a European Union accession country. Why? Because that tells the rest of the world, I'm going to work on my structural reforms, I'm going to fix corruption, I'm going to have all these laws because I have to harmonize them with the European Union standards, right? The FDI like doubled six times, sixfold. It was amazing. Now they all left because now the country seemed as a risky country. If you look at the worldwide allocation of the FDI among emerging markets and developing countries right now, it will be in emerging markets with stronger institutions, uh, the ones who have done a lot of structural reforms and uh, improved infrastructure. Those are the countries that are receiving most of the FDI.